All right, so this is how you get a record deal in 2013. It used to be the case that the gatekeepers of the music industry would be in control of the music, what was put out, what was promoted, what people were going to like based on their selections. But now the playing field is leveled, and I'm sure you've heard this a million times. But if you can change your idea of what a record deal is, it's super easy to get one. And I'm going to tell you how to do it in 10 steps. <clears throat> so once you've changed your perception about how you're going to get this record deal, Here's what you're going to do. Step number one, get a band. Step number two, rehearse your band. Step number three, you're going to develop a repertoire, whether it's original material or other people's material, you've got to decide what you're going to play. Through performing and rehearsing, you've got to develop a group sound and a group concept. The more unique the concept, the easier it's going to be to be able to promote it as a unique and new thing to the audience. Step five, develop a concept for your album. What is it going to be? Original music? Does it have a theme of a composer or another kind of extra musical theme? Step number six, you got to save the money. There's lots of things to think about when saving up to spend on a recording. Some of the things that you're going to need to spend on are studio time, mixing, mastering, rehearsal time, musician's fees, uh, extra food and things to make everybody happy during the session, water, just little things all add up. And then after that, maybe you'll have producer fees, you'll have fees for the artwork, photography, printing the CDs themselves. So make sure you have a realistic budget of what you're going to spend. And then you got to pay for distribution and publicity of the music that you're putting out. Step number seven, do the recording. Then you got to mix it and then you got to master it. Find the best people that you know of in your industry, whether it's uh, jazz or classical music, to make it sound the best that it can. Step number eight, you're going to assemble your post-production team. You're going to need a publicist, maybe some small label contacts, and maybe you'll need a producer to help you with everything on the session. You're going to have to coordinate with your publicist to pick a release date, and usually that's going to be a few months in the future, so they have enough lead time to send it out to magazines and the radio and all the things that the publicist is going to do for you. And then you're going to want to either find a small label to collaborate with, or start one on your own to be able to release it in like an official capacity. Step number nine, book performances to support the release of your CD. You want to share your music with as many people as you can, and that could be in your region, could be across the country. It depends on how, you know, just how big you want to take it and where there's interest for people to hear your music. And finally, step number 10, you're going to release the CD, your release day is here, your release concert is here, and you're all excited because you've completed this project. And that's your record deal. You know, even the record deals that do exist now, a lot of them require you to do all these things in advance anyway, and maybe they only help with the last distribution step. So why give your music, the most important thing to you, a way to somebody else to make decisions about? I feel like it's very important to be for you to create the highest quality product uh, the way you want to do it and not have to worry about the decisions coming down from a higher power. You know, you know what's best for your music. Don't wait for someone to ask you to be on their label. Because there's so many more musicians than there are resources and opportunities available. You have to take control of yourself and do what you want to do. No matter the size of the label or the scope of the project, the most important thing is to make a document of your music that's honest and truthful to you. Uh, for more information on the things that I've done, you can visit outsideinmusic.com and maybe we can collaborate on one of your projects in the future. Thanks for watching.